so uh, these are the materials you need. Uh, one, like I said, the, the filtrate filter, and uh, two, uh, you will need uh, some rubber bands, um, preferably uh, flat ones. Um, and then also got uh, from uh, Target uh, one of these uh, letter hanging folders. And that'll provide um, a uh, bridge uh, piece across your nose that will uh, allow for you to kind of customize your, uh, your uh, respirator for you. So um, this is actually, uh, my wife was able to provide this. This is a 3M uh, N95 mask. And as you can see from this design, it, um, it is basically uh, a long piece of fabric that's folded over itself multiple times. And uh, then it has these type of um, closures here. And it also has a little um, metal portion here to adjust to your nose. And then finally, um, you also have the rubber bands that are stuck together with a staple on the, on the sides. Okay. So to start off, you just take these fill treats and you just peel this thing off like here. And um, once that's peeled off, it's actually not too bad. Um, there is this wire, chicken wire, that's uh, stuck onto it. You can just grab part of it and just pull it right off, very simply. Just, uh, just like this. All right. So I've got access to the fabric now. Um, and peeled it off. Just be mindful that some of this wire can also cut, cut your fingers. So um, if you're concerned about that, you might want to wear gloves, things along those lines. At least the edges here, those are what's going to cut you. Okay. So I have this out and I'm going out nine inches. I cut through. The nine inches, which I'm just going to mark as right here. And I cut through. Now, there was uh, some interesting controversy to, that I overheard on the news about. Uh, distributors, the 3M, selling to other countries um, or for the United States. Well, you know, um, it's it's pretty uh, pretty difficult situation uh, for for all individuals um, in regards to things. And I think that uh, you know, uh, at least you will be safe during this time when it's really hard when other countries are. Uh, entities are outbidding you in terms of getting these masks. Right. So, um, let's see. So, like I said, nine inches um, one way, and then six times two, at least the other way. So, generally, I like to see um, like to see at least twelve inches um, of mask. Okay. So. Uh, Now that we have it here, I just cut through. I've got the mask here, mask materials. And you can see through here, there's an arrow. Uh, Generally, you want to have the aspect that's not as as um, fabricy uh, facing the outside. Okay. So, with that considered, 
is facing the outside, we can make the mask going um, with the fabric aspect towards the middle. Okay. So um, with that through here, we've doubled it up and then we're also going to uh, double it up again. Half again. And then with the fold in half, you're going to actually um, pull back times one. And the nice thing about this filter, it's already uh, folded for you. And then uh, the fold is going to actually be facing uh, facing uh, towards the back aspect of it. All right. And then the same thing over here, flip it over, and the fold also is going to face towards the back. Right. So with that, you get your stapler out, and you just start stapling. And in the motion right here. First I want to get the, the fold down. Okay, so I'm going to staple just like that. And then another fold. Uh, I'm going to keep going until I get a kind of a straight line of staples going towards the front. So uh, same thing on the opposite side, we're going to keep going and keep the fold here. Better. So um, fold through here and keep the staple going like so. Kind of similar over here. I'm just going to staple just like this. Okay. So now we've got we've got uh, a mask in some respects, um, and it opens just like so. Okay, just like so. And then um, what we can do is. Um, we're going to take this and put a couple rubber bands on the on the sides. So what you need to do is uh, cut the rubber band. Um, you're gonna probably need to cut four if you're gonna use the ones that I got at um, at Target. It's these types. Uh, they're just conventional rubber bands. And then um, you just make a square knot to make your connection. You really only need two in a line to, to make it. So make sure your knot is square. So once it's square, you might need to triple knot it sometimes. Um, which I don't know if that, there we go. And okay. So um, so that's set, and then we do the same thing on with another set. Is I again I cut through just like this, right through there. And again, another square knot. If you if you do a square knot, you know you only need to tie it twice. So that is square. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight. And then um, what you do is you'll take both of these uh, rubber bands. You take the flat edges and you double it up on one side. So now that you've doubled it up on one side, um, you, you know, 
administer the staple and that'll allow for you to have some place to to anchor your your straps um, I do not recommend hole punches I've tried that one before um, didn't work I would say staple three times okay so I'll staple three times just like so All right. and then on the opposite side I'm going to do the exact same thing which is I'm going to uh, double up on the rubber bands and again um, place it just lengthwise along your your respirator So I've placed it lengthwise. You can kind of see here. And I've doubled up on it. Okay. So you see that those are two doubled up right there. And I'm just going to take the stapler and ooh, watch your finger. Um, and then, so that was one staple, I need two more. So two, and three, that should be good. So with my respirator available, I can now place this over my head. Just like so. Okay. Um, just one more thing is you actually need to as well uh, get uh, the uh, the metal piece to stick in there. So that's one thing I you have to also do. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So um, that aspect comes from. The, um, that aspect comes from these hanging fo folders uh, that, like I said, you get at um, Target or any office supply store. And uh, what you do is you make sure to, um, according to this one, looks like it's about it's about one, two, three, about four inches. So. That's what I would give yourself is about four inches to cut off as well on yours. So you just cut through here and just try to round it as best you can with, and get it like a really strong scissors to just round it so that you don't cut yourself or anything like that. And then um, once again, I rounded it and then I kind of go through here and I'm going to cut. All right, now we've got two, two sides. And what you can do is you take this, and you slide it in, and you actually double over to staple it in. So. Uh, mine just kind of came out. So um, again, hit the edge. Make sure not to uh, get your rubber band stuck in there, uh, like I almost did. Okay, and I'm going to. Do 
the second staple over here. And that just keeps the, the metal just stuck in this specific spot. And then um, you're going to need to also staple the front aspect as well so that it stays in place. Otherwise, it will shift. It will move. So I would say about maybe four or five staples should hold it in place. You know, some people are sewing these things. Uh, stapling is so much easier. Um, in terms of everything okay and the great thing about these filters is that you can uh, there's they are advertised to last three months so you can wear your mask for three months okay so let's let's test out our our uh, mask looks like one of my staples kind of came out or was kind of on the edge so I'm just going to take that one out Okay, so once again, I take the, the edge on the side. I just put a little staple right there um, on the fabric so that way it stays and secure, okay? So um, again, I take the mask, uh, the way you stick, stick it on is you actually just slide it up on top first. One strap should go above on the top of your head, one strap up to the back. Then with your mask, you need an airtight seal, that's what they want. So you take your, your metal aspect with your nose bridge, you can bend it now. And let's see, you make some adjustments so that you get the airtight seal. So now I have, as you can see, airtight seal redundancy. Okay, I didn't make this mask. Uh, it's basically just copy off of 3M with staples. You can do this at home. And um, I'm able to breathe through this, which is really nice. Um, and uh, I don't have to wear any scuba gear. Well, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, learning how to make your own mask. Took a